Mrs. Green. Yes? Yes. That's right. And it's a short about you. Why, why is it, Anna? Yes. And then the work you do, everything, you know, it's very interesting. Yes, I have to come through. Anyway, I mean, he couldn't do anything for me. I mean, it was 
that she says I have a lot to do with the young people too because she says you know brother Art I often see him with a linear Art I said that that's a bit of reverend brother Art she said oh no she says you wouldn't remember because she said he died oh, in infancy before he was born oh I said I may remember something about it but oh yes she said he died as a baby when he was grown up I said, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. She said, oh, a lot of things won't make sense to you. She said, until you've been here for a time, and then you get in the act of understanding. She says, these things don't suddenly come to you. You have to be patient. So I said, well, what about um, my stuff back home? I said, what's going to happen about that? She said, no, she said, did you still work about that? She said, in any case, not a bit. She said, it wasn't much good, was it? So I said, I don't know, might not be a good for you. I said, but it's not me. After all, she said, no, she said, don't think about those things. And uh, she said, try and get your mind away from it. So she says, well, I'm going to have a funeral. I ought to be there. She laughed. She says, you always want to come up for a joke. So I says, well, I'd like to have a look and see what goes on. So she says, oh, well, well, don't talk about that now. She says, we'll see. So I said, I'd like to see you turns up. I said, no, but there's many that would, I don't suppose. But it's my old pal, Harvey. So she said, I'll oh, forget it, you know, she was nattering away to me. Funny thing is, I say she was nattering, and it was as if she was nattering, and she went open the mouth. And that suddenly dawned on me, I could hear her speaking to me, and yes, she wasn't saying anything, that is, she wasn't speaking. So I stopped still, you know, she's come on, she, so I said, but I don't understand it. You were speaking to me, and yet your mouth's not moving, and it's like a bit creepy sort of thing, I says. Funny, isn't it? So she says, oh, you seem to know me to speak by your thoughts. And she says, after all, she says, you're receiving what I'm saying. You're, you're hearing, ain't you? So she says, yes, I says, but you're not actually speaking. At least don't look as if you are. So she says, oh, no, you didn't. And she says, come on. She says, come on, don't let that worry. She says, you'll understand all the things here long, you know. And I thought, I don't know how I'm real puzzled, you know, I was. Then we came to a bridge. Funny about this bridge. There was a little girl over this bridge, I said to myself. I didn't realize she could hear me when I said it to myself, but she hoped it could, because I didn't speak out there. Oh, this bridge. I know this bridge. This is the bridge that it used to be. This is the little place where we, you know, we were never you know, we were kids. She said, that's right. I said, well, that's funny. I said, that's that come over here. I said, if I'm dead. And it's it like this, I says, the preacher and I remember that used to be down in the old village where we was. So she says, oh, well, she says, you understand. She says, over here, she says, we've got a sort of, um, uh, replica, she calls it, of everything, practically, you know. And she says, I'm taking you. Yes, yeah, she says, because it brings back happy memories and it'll help you. And you remember the little village and the people and all that, I says, yes. So she says, it's here. So I said, well, how can it be here? I says, it was in Buckinghamshire years ago. She says, 60, 70 years ago. She says, yeah, that's right. She says, but this is, this is the same, but not the same in a way, she says, but it all was real to you as that place was when you was in heaven. So I said, I don't understand this. I give it up, you know. I says, well, she says, you will, you will, boy, she says, don't worry. So she says, no, we're going to May's. I says, oh, she says, May's. I says, well, she died years ago. She says, of course, she just said it, I have you forgotten. So I said, well, no, you know what I was saying after that, so we're going to see May. Does that make sense? She says, nothing will make sense to you at first. She says, but you know, we get to that of it. But May was always happy at the village. She always liked the little cottage that she had, you know, that little cottage she had, the end of the road. I said, oh, I remember that. So she says, oh, well, you'll see for yourself. And it was just as if I was walking back into the past. There was that same little house, one of four it was on the end, the little tiny little brick wall in the front, the little garden that my uncle used to take such pride in, you know, oh, it was nice, all the hollyhocks and the flowers, everything as he always liked it. And there they was, and my aunt, standing with the door. And as we all came near, they came down to the gate, same gates I always remember, I remember.
you beat your six brass up and you come over here. I'll give you what for. I think you do it, they love me. And anyway, my sister, but I don't she comes. You'll think different. After all, what a waste of money. I said, she said, no, look, she said, what does it matter where you're buried? It's where you are that matters the way you're buried. And that little bit of money will tide her over and over and over. I know she said the principle's wrong. I said, you didn't think the principle's wrong. She said, I knew she knew it was outside to do this. And it would have a decent funeral. So she said, what does it matter whether you have a decent funeral or not? Or whether that man stands up and tackles in the service by the express train. She says, it makes no odds. You're here, aren't you? And you're all right, ain't you? I said, she ends up being an all right. So she says, well, then, I'll stop. Worried about it. I'll draw when they come here. I will meet the bars and all of you, sister. They'll face up to life. They'll face up to the truth. They'll look back and have regrets. But they can't altogether break them, don't they? Your sister thinks that she's my daughter. But she's an infant. If they come, she says, in some ways, but she'll learn to sing the bars and learn. You'll learn it. Now, it ain't the body in the grave that matters on the surface. Getting it over as quick as possible and drawing the seven and six or whatever it is they get. Anyway, sometimes I'm 